Hello, hello there, Scrappy Names fans. How are we all today? Uh, let me first apologise if I sound a bit croaky and nasally. I'm still trying to get over this winter, lovely winter bug I've collected. Um, but yeah, so here's my voiceover. It's why some of my videos of late haven't been voiceovers. Uh, it's because I haven't been well enough to talk. Um, so I have a new uh, 12 by 12 layout here. Um, now this is trying to use up uh, my July Kidaholic kit. Um, being that this was done only a few days towards the end of July, so I had a fair bit left over. So I wanted to try and use up as much as I can, give it a bit of a killer kit kind of feel. Um, so what you can see here, these are all the different papers that came. I get the main kit in July. Uh, sorry, main kit in general, sorry. Um, and this month, or July, had the Kayser Craft Daydreamer collection in it, which was a really pretty uh, collection. It had lots of soft, sort of pastel tones as well to it. Um, and all well coordinated. Um, now I fussed around a fair bit so that's why some of this is edited out um, in regards to I wanted to do some layering behind my photo using up some of the papers from the kit. Um, so I do fuss around and I think I changed the layering three times. The third time being I'd forgotten what I'd put down I think um, and just decided that's it I need to commit to it let's go. Um, so I do get to show you a bit of, you know, me playing around with each of the layers just so you can get a bit of a feel that it wasn't all just sort of chucked together and that's how it looked. So this is one, uh, my first attempt at layering. I think it's the first one. And it is somewhat how it turns out. Now I had some fair bit of ephemera and things left over as well. So I wanted to sort of, as you'll see, look... Um, use it all as much as I could in preparation for the new kit to come. <laughs> so these um, papers, as I said, were really beautiful, really soft sort of tones, um, but they had some beautiful like words and things like that one there where I'm actually putting the tape on it actually says, I love you to the moon and back. Um, so, which is sort of something I say a lot, uh, with, particularly with my son, to I think. Um, sorry guys, I, as I said, a bit Naughty. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, that green is not a real in-your-face green. It's quite a soft green, so it went really well with the green in the background of my photo. Uh, this photo actually is quite old, or a few years old. Um, this was my birthday in 2013, and we just had our our little girl, um, little bubby in my arms there. So I just it was sitting in my photo box as a spare photo, and I thought this would be perfect because this paper actually the paper I'm using is there there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy and I wanted to document a photo that I'll show what beautiful reasons are and what better reason than our little Brady Bunch family here. Alright so I commit to my layering here um, and I'm just gonna stick it down and hope for the best. Um, I actually think it turned out really well. The only thing is I do think it might have been a bit too busy but at the same time I think it looks quite good. Uh, the photo is not a clear photo. It's quite a bit blurry. I'm not sure it was white printed or whatever. Um, so yeah I wanted to make sure that the colours I used behind it also made it sort of pop up a little bit or um, stand out because obviously the photo is the vocal, focal point. As you can see there, there's my little tray there with all the ephemera and everything we get in the kit. So on the left side is the Kayser Craft Pack, there's the wood video and then there's the printables we get each month as well, um, designed by someone in the design team for Kidaholic Kit. Definitely well worth the money, I think I've said this in previous videos. It's a brilliant Aussie company, uh, and Steph's amazing at coordinating everything, getting you know, new parts, new lines and things in. Um, yeah, she's just, yeah, it's brilliant. Really brilliant. I'm so glad I'm with it. I've been with them now for over 12 months, just over 12 months. Um, and, yeah. All right, so just as you can see, having a fuss around. I left some of this in so you could see, you know, I did sort of skip through a whole heap of it. That was the process because that's the point of seeing this. You know, it's meant to be literally a process. And for those who are, might be a bit new to scrapbooking and a bit sort of unsure, I was in your boat and watching lots of YouTube videos like this where you get to see that the creator uh, doesn't always have a plan uh, and things can just get plopped down. That is, that is all all good.
as I said, my plan was to use as many pieces of this as I could to sort of almost kill this July kit as much as I could. Still, I, for some reason, this month I had a lot left. I think I used a lot of my papers because um, this is the only, that background paper is the only full 12 by 12 piece I had left because um, I think I used the others for a lot of project life this month. Um, so, um, so yeah, so... And I wanted to use the ephemera a lot in the background. Alright, so just playing around where all the bits and pieces are going to go. Um, I did, as I said, did have a plan and I am just basically putting them where they lie almost. So... The words and things on them, the phrases on these um, ephemera pieces were quite pretty. Um, like, this, you know, I love you to the moon and back, sweetheart, endless love, you know, those sorts of things. So it's really quite nice and I thought perfect for a layout like this. Um, and I'm just using plain old double-sided tape for the most part for my wood veneer pieces and some of the smaller pieces. I'm either using my... Uh, just normal sort of wet glue um, or my fine tip one that's the Tombow yeah Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue which I've had for 12 months now because I brought it at a craft fair in August last year and I'm going back when it's out here in a couple of weeks um, and going to do some more shopping so that should be fun and I'll pick some more up Yeah, you can see all the pieces around my desk here um, and my space as to what was there. As you can see, there's a fair bit in the pack, um, you know, and I still had a bit left over. So just working on my title here. I do save you the hassle of watching me all of this. Um, and I had to do a little trick thing here with the um, M for fam, as in family. I had to use a W instead of an M because I've run out. <laughs> but that's okay. Got to be clever. Right, these little green coloured sort of clear stickers are a Heidi Swap sticker. Again, it came in the Kidaholic kit. Um, and they're just some phrase word stickers, little word stickers. So I'm just popping some of them on just to give some more splashes of green as well. Because uh, there's green in the background and whatnot of the photo, as well as in the papers I've used to layer. So I wanted to make sure that was brought in a bit more. You'll see them in the middle of the close-ups. I like this little piece. It says, think happy, be happy. So I'm nearly finished up here. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this quick little layout. Um, as I said, I took some, some out so you didn't have to get stuck seeing it, all the process as such, but you see some of it. Uh, stay tuned again for some more videos. Um, what day is it? Today's Tuesday. The fire, 1st of August, oh my god, where's the year going? Uh, so I'll put some more videos up as well as I've got some design team posts uh, coming up for Scrapping Clearly and my new one, Scrapping Good Time Facebook group. So stay tuned for those and pop over to their Facebook pages and have a look. Um, and yeah, check out Kitacolic Kits if you're looking for a kit club in Australia in particular. Um, she's quite, it's quite worth the money. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. I just realised. Here we go. Sorry, guys, take that back for a minute. I added some splatters to just fill in a little bit of that white, just to add some colours to the white. I don't know, it just felt like it needed something. So I decided to use this Tim um, Distress spray stain instead of a normal sort of Heidi colour shine because my children have used up all my pink coloured Heidi shine. Um, and then I do actually use the gold. Holy Hardy Swap colour shine as well. I don't shake it as much as I probably should, but it still works. Um, I do have to come in with a bit of paper towel and a bit of just soak up some of the splodges a little bit because some of the. Alright, so as I said, yeah, just soaking up some of the excess splodges on the, the Heidi shine. And then I'm nearly done. <laughs>
All right, all done, guys. As I said, if you've uh, enjoyed this, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Um, I'll have some more videos out this week, as I said, for my design team stuff. So stay tuned for those, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.